Hey everyone, so today I'm excited because I'm trying out two container sized blueberry bushes, which are even smaller than the dwarf blueberry bush that I planted earlier this spring. So I got these sent to me from Bushel and Berry. So I did not pay for these, they did come from the company, but they are not paying me to do this video. So what I'm hoping to do is plant these and talk about how they do because I like the idea of berry bushes that can fit in a container garden easily because the regular raspberry and blueberry bush that I have right now, they take up a lot of space and I'll show you the one over there that I already propagated with a runner from my raspberry bush is already taking up a lot of space as well. They typically need containers that are at least like two feet in diameter whereas these are actually made for hanging baskets. Now unfortunately i don't have a spot to hang them from i mean i was thinking the only spot really i could hang them from is the gutter but that doesn't seem like the best idea for the actual gutter itself to just hang plants off of so i'm probably not going to do that i'm just going to plant them in like regular pots and see how they do but they're going to be much smaller pots than my other berry bushes so first things first i think these are two different varieties i have the paper here this one is Sapphire Cascade. This one is Midnight Cascade. So let me read the description here. So Midnight Cascade, which is this one. Um, it's the very first blueberry bush for hanging baskets. It will grow between 18 and 24 inches, which I think is the same for this one here. Um, the foliage on this one has hints of red that'll darken, so this one will turn dark red, which I think one of my other blueberry bushes does, um, and it's four zones, five through nine. Uh, this one, same thing, eight through 24 inches, uh, zones five through nine. It does say they have, well, this one it says it has a cascading habit, so obviously that's perfect for hanging it. I'm hoping it works out well enough in a pot on the ground, although I guess if it cascades a lot, I can always put it on, ooh, that would be pretty. I could put it on a stand similar to what I have some of my herbs on and it can cascade over the side of that. So that'd be really pretty. Or I can just build a whole pergola up here and hang it off of that, but that'll probably be many years away. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna show you what I'm potting these up in. I'll also show you what came with it. So it came with hanging baskets that are this size and then the little pieces that hang the hanging basket come in it but again because I'm not hanging them I'm gonna use a different type of pot but I am gonna save these um, potentially for anything in the future or just to use as like larger um, nursery cans for anything I need to upsize so I'm gonna save those what I'm actually gonna pot them in are two of these so the recommended container size I think is so the recommended container size is a hanging basket, 12 to 16 inches in diameter. I think this one is exactly 12 inches, not a hanging basket, well, that's fine. Um, it recommends two parts regular potting soil with one part high acid potting soil. I don't have specifically high acid potting soil. So what I've put in here so far is potting soil, um, some of the compost that I have, not my own, the one that I got from a garden center, and then, of this based on the measurement instructions on the back. So this is the Dr. Earth's Acid Lovers Fertilizer. It's the first year I'm using this. Um, I've been using it for the dwarf blueberry bush that I planted. I've been adding it once a month to the blueberry plants as well. And they seem to be doing fine. Um, so that's what's in this pot. See if there's anything else notable in the planting instructions. Full sun, at least six hours a day. Uh, recommends fertilizing each spring. Do, 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 do. Oh, and it does recommend storing them indoors over winter, either in an unheated garage or a cold basement. So that is my plan. That's one of the reasons why I chose a plastic pot, because this is going to be easy, easier to transfer downstairs to the garage than something that's a bit heavier. Um, so my full-size blueberry raspberry bushes, I leave those out. They're in much heavier ceramic pots. They've come back so far, lasted through two winters, so I think that works out pretty well for them. Because these pots are a lot smaller, there's less soil to keep the plant warm. They're plastic, so they're not gonna hold heat as well. So these I'm definitely going to store inside over the winter. So now, 
I'm gonna go ahead and get these planted up and they're probably going to have to live on the back deck again because I've run out of room in the actual garden so now I just have two gardens so I've just realized I took off both tags and put them both over here I think this one was the midnight cascade I'll have to rewatch the clips that I've already shot to remember but I'm pretty sure it's this one so I'm going to stick the label in the pot and then if I go back and realize I'm wrong I will switch the label I don't know why I'm so bad at keeping labels organized All right, so these are all potted up. They are maybe correctly labeled. I just need to water them in and then put them somewhere out on this deck. Now I do feel like with this one, I can definitely tell that the growth habit is something that's meant to splay out. So I'm pretty sure this is correctly labeled as midnight because that's the one that specifically said in the description that it has that growth habit. So I'm hoping it'll be happy, like I said, if I feel like it does need to be off the ground. I'll probably just put it on a little stand um, out here in the garden, but I'm excited because if this works out, well, one, I will now have four blueberry plants, but two, I like having things in the garden that are specifically made to be like contained in a container garden. So I'm just excited to see how these do. I'm imagining the yield will not be a huge yield because it's not a huge plant, but I will take what I can get. Now, something else I am on the lookout for, so let me know if you know of any good options, is container-sized fruit trees, because I really wanna have like apple, cherry, peach trees. So if you know of any that are container-sized or any brands that do specifically trees for containers, I would absolutely love that. Now, I've seen some that are supposedly labeled for containers, but they still say like, 10 to 15 feet tall, and that is way too tall up here. So something even more compact than that. I guess dwarf fruit trees might be a good term to look for, but let me know if you have any recommendations on that. Now what I'm gonna do is water these in, and then I'll show you wherever I end up putting them, which of course is a container garden, so it'll probably be moved around quite a bit. I've decided to just plop them both right in front of the little seating area between the two miniature roses. So we'll leave them there and see how they like it. So that's gonna be everything for this video. I'm excited to have these in my garden because I like finding plants that are specifically made either for small gardens or containers because the smaller the plant, the more plants I can fit. Let me know if you've ever tried anything from Bushel and Berry. I think this is the first, although the brand name sounds familiar, so I might have other plants from it, but I feel like this also might be the first plant. I don't know, but either way, it's my first little tiny hanging basket blueberry bushes. So we'll see how those do. I'll keep you updated. Obviously, I'll let you know if they overwinter fine next year and if they come back or not. Um, but other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.